We are one hour away from the new year, or more importantly to some of you, the end of 2020. While New Year's Eve is one of the biggest nights for parties, like everything else this year, it's looking a little bit different. Dennis Ting joins us live right now from Bardstown Road. Dennis, it looks very quiet out there. Is that the reality? Well, Shay, there are some people here and there, but definitely not the same as in years past. Now, in years past, around this time, the party's usually just getting started, but right now, it's actually last call. At first glance, it may look like any other night inside Flanagan's Ale House on Baxter Avenue. It's kind of the same, just day by day. It's nothing different. Um, just making sure everybody's wearing a mask, being di distance, and uh, not crowding around the bar. Owner Drew Borgman says safety has been the priority for his bar during the pandemic. While the bar's tradition of hosting the ancient order of the Hibernians celebrating Irish New Year at 7 p.m. has continued, the number of guests is much lower than usual. We have um, about 40 of the guys back here. Normally it'd be, you know, a couple hundred. It may be New Year's Eve, but that doesn't mean bars and restaurants in Kentucky can get a pass when it comes to the coronavirus health guidelines. That means dine-in food and drink services have to stop by 11 p.m. and doors have to close by midnight. Yes, even on New Year's Eve. We know that longer um, that people are, are allowed to, to remain together, potentially drinking, having more and more fun, that our, our aversion to risk lowers and therefore creates more risk, not only for yourself, but for the people that you're around. Nick Hart with Louisville Public Health and Wellness says the department's enhanced compliance team will be enforcing these guidelines on New Year's Eve. He says the department has already given some businesses orders to close by midnight. If nothing happens, there's fines and penalties. And then if bad behavior continues, um, those facilities are putting their operating permits at risk, such as their food permit, their alcohol uh, service permit. Hart says if people choose to celebrate, they should stay safe by wearing a mask, avoiding crowds, and washing their hands. For Drew, he's just looking forward to next year. Please give us the vaccine. That's what I'm looking forward to. I just want everybody to be safe. Uh, have a happy new year. Now, the health department says it will continue enforcing these guidelines through the weekend. Live in the Highlands, Dennis Ding, WHAS 11 News.